afternoon, everyone. The radicals are in control of the Democrat Party. Make no mistake, Democrat radicals want to shatter norms and disregard precedent for the sake of the very norms and precedent they claim must be safeguarded. They've proposed court packing, an egregious idea. They've entertained impeachment as punishment for the president exercising his lawful Article II, Section II authority to appoint, uh, nominate rather, a justice to the Supreme Court. They've advocated for the abolition of the Electoral College. These are all the tactics that they are using to sow chaos and discord. Likewise, they're endorsing a mass mail-out ballot system that will likely lead to the kind of week-long delay New York witnessed in its recent primary. Far-left radicals resort to tactics like this to push their extreme agenda because they cannot win on the merits. They cannot succeed based on the will of the American people. This administration will continue to call out these tactics while Democrats should end their petty politics and get to work. And with that, I'll take questions. John. Yeah, Kelly, I wonder if you can just clean up or clarify something the president said yesterday. Um, if he loses this election, can you assure us that there will be a peaceful transfer of power? You are referring to the question asked by the Playboy reporter, right? I, I'm referring to you with the president being asked if, if there would be a peaceful transfer of power, and he did not uh, say yes. Yeah, so I believe I'm asking you, will there be a peaceful transfer of power if he loses this I election? I believe that question asked by the Playboy power, in fact, I think I have it right here. Uh, he was I'm asked He was yeah. asked when, lose, or draw whether he would accept the transfer of power. I'm not entirely sure if he won why he would accept a transfer of power. That is um, maybe the deranged wish of that reporter, but that's not how but, but, but uh, governing works. Very direct and very simple question. If the president loses this election, will this White House, will this president assure us that there will be a peaceful transfer of power? It's a very simple question. The, the, president, since, uh, the president will accept the results of a free and fair election. Uh, but I think that your question is more fitting to be asked of Democrats who have already been on the record saying they won't accept the results of an election. Um, in fact, I have several of them here for you. South Carolina Democrat uh, Jim Clyburn has said uh, that Trump is not going to win fairly. Senator Barbara a boxer has said that the only way Trump will win is to steal it. That's according to Democrat Senator Barbara Boxer. Uh, the Washington Post has noted um, they have a headline, Democrats may not trust the results of the election if Trump wins. And then you have uh, that beautiful quote from Hillary Clinton that Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstance. So I think your fitting is more question, more uh, fitting, a fitting question for Democrats. Yes. Kelly, uh, Kelly, just to understand this clearly, are the results legitimate only if the president wins? The president will accept the results of a free and fair election. He will accept the will of the American people. So for clarity, if he loses and it's free and fair, he will accept it. I've answered your question. He will accept the results of a free and fair election. Let me ask you about Breonna Taylor. If when the president said, get rid of the ballots, there won't be a transfer, frankly, there'll be a continuation. Which particular ballots is he talking about wanting to get rid of, and why does he think that would help him get elected? Uh, the president wants to get rid of mass mail-out voting, um, and that's not because it. he said clearly that that could go either way. It could damage either candidate's um, chances because it's a system that's subject to fraud. In fact, in the last 24 hours, police in Greenville, Wisconsin, found mail in a ditch, and it included absentee ballots. Um, and also, I can confirm for you that Trump ballots, um, ballots for the president, were found in Pennsylvania, and I believe you should be getting more information on that shortly. Here in the last 24 hours, they were found cast aside. So why in the past hour did the president tweet out, vote by mail ballots in my home state of Florida, begin going out today, make sure to you request yours, fill it out, and send it in? The president has always made the distinction that absentee ballots, where you go through a process where you request a ballot um, and you mail that in, that is a system that works. But a system where you mass mail out to voter rolls, which are not kept and maintained, where in Los Angeles County, for instance, you have 120 percent of the county enrolled, that system is untenable. It doesn't work. It leads to what we saw in Nevada, where there were ballots languishing in trash cans and pinned to apartment boards. Okay, just and finally, uh, today FBI Director Ray testified on the Hill.